Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today we're back with some more cash games playing at 2-5 with a $500 buy-in. Button open going to throughout out the big line, ace-queen. He jams. Um, this is the sticky thing with ace-queen. Man, if it's like 500, we can fold. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna call, but don't love this. Actually, are we? Yeah, we are. All right, well, he has aces, so that close decision wasn't actually close. <laughs> but we'll take a 10. I don't get it. Here's both king three hearts called by both the blinds here. Jack 10, five, two spades and a heart. Uh, if it checks to us against two blind defense, I think we just want to be checking. Queen of hearts would be a cool card. All right, so we'll pick up the five of hearts instead. There's the board, which isn't great, but we do pick up the flush draw with the overcard. And for getting about 4 to 1 here, I think we definitely can call. And ooh, we are going to hit the flush. Good flush. Paired board, though. Uh, so when he goes this big, I think we have to just call. Can't raise. <laughs> oh man, we were over the flush, but here was a full house. High jack open going to three bet small blind with jacks. And we get the four bet here. And jacks out of position are tough, but I think the best route is to continue as a flat against the four bet. Uh, flop comes down to king 10 4 rainbow. So 252 in the middle, only have 434 back. Go small, pretty expected here given the stack pot ratio it's at. So we'll be calling one. Ace of diamonds on the turn gets worse. So I pick up the gut shot, but it's uh, going to be a tough card for us to continue on just under pot. So whether he has it or not, this is going to be probably one he can bet quite a bit. Uh, the question is, can we call? I don't think so. I think we just have to fold at this point. Here's a low jack, small blind, three bets. And it's time to put in the four bet. Calls decently quick. And put out a C bet here on the Jack Eight Six. And it raises here. Just gonna be getting this one in. I don't think they're gonna raise to fold do that, that often here. A lot of draws and stuff too, so we'll just get it in now. Pause it off. Oh my gosh, Aces versus Jacks, they flop the Jack. That's brutal. So this looks insanely strong. So we get a low jack open, a button three bets off a short stack. He has like under $300 to start the hand. I don't think we want to do anything fancy here, but I mean, our hand just looks incredibly strong at this point. And jams, here we go. Kings versus Queens, hold. Hold. Oh my gosh. Queen on the river, come on now. All right, four-handed, open that cutoff, ace-jack suited, button, three bets, pretty big here, about 5x in position. I think we still call, but a uh, little bit concerning pre. With that said, we do flop top pair, top kicker. Jack, four, deuce, three clubs. Going to call, I think. Turn, deuce of spades, go ahead and check. See a bet for 125. So I gotta think about what our plan here is. I think it's to call and then call any non-club king or queen river. That's a beautiful river. Question is now do we turn into leading with the jack? Trying to target aces, kings, or queens. 
Uh, second check, give a chance to bluff. Not sure if we're better off leading there. He decides to jam anyways. He has King Jack. Wow, so ultimate cooler there. Raise cut off with threes, get called by the button. Pretty solid flop here, 8-8-3. Eight, eight, I'm going to check. Uh, just in general, too, when you check, a lot of people just like to blast off here. So we're going to call. If he ends up having an 8, he's going to end up triple barreling anyways. So that might slightly slow him down on this turn spade, but I think he'd still bet here. Uh, point is basically we can check jam river. And now if he has like the ace or king of spades, we don't mind letting him get there. Four on the river, gonna check. Also nice to have some monsters in your checking range when you've run it out this way. And we'll put in the raise. He decides on a call, and we are good. A pot just over 500. And he had 8 to 10 offsuit. Hijack limp, go ahead and raise up the cutoff with ace 9 suited, get called. And we'll put out a C bet on jack 6 5 with our nut flush draw. Calls pretty quickly. Jack on the turn. Going to check back now. And hit the flush on the river. So what's nice about this is I think our hand's going to be a bit disguised. As you might think we barrel our flush draws on the turn. So I'm going to raise here for value. Calls right away and we are good. Nice pot for us. And ooh, he had the smaller flush, the eight deuce of diamonds. Hijack open, we will throw about the cutoff with ace king. A little bit of time and calls, good flop. Ace eight three, two diamonds. We have the ace of diamonds. Put out a bet. Size on call, seven of clubs on the turn, shouldn't change much here, continue going for value. See a call, queen on the river. Let's see here, not the cleanest river as ace queen's one of the hands we're mainly trying to get value from, although we can still have like ace jack, ace 10. And going to go for a smaller value bet here. I think this also could induce some of his missed draws. Like if he had diamond draws. We do have a diamond in our hand, but it's not as relevant of a blocker because it at least would be top pair here. So I think here with this one is, yes, he's going to sometimes raise with like his two pairs and we're going to call off. But other times this way, we can also get him to induce with some of his missed flush draws uh, that he might see this as a weaker bet. So we're going to call this off. If he has a hand that beats us, it's unfortunate. But we did do this to induce and... He has two pair with ace-8, and ace-king goes down in flames. All right, so Z-score makes a call. Don't love this flop, going to be honest. Eight, seven, six, two spades. It's going to be something that hits the big line defend range pretty hard. So when you get three in a row with a flush draw, I think when we bet, uh, generally we're betting bigger. So it's not just we're doing this with aces, but when we do bet, we're doing three quarters as opposed to a third, which you'll see a lot of times. Uh, pretty miserable turn card. So it puts four liner out to straight. We don't even have the ace of spades. So uh, it's probably the worst card in the deck, that or the five of spades. And it's tough here because he can lead quite often because it makes sense for me a lot better for his range than ours. Um, he can have some two pairs in here, he can have some flushes the straight, and even though we're getting good price with aces, we're just going to be letting this go. That's going to be the end of today's cash game session. So we played for three hours at 2.5, we played 747 hands, and we lost $2,030. Really, really tough session today. We really just never got anything going. I think we only won two pots that were like over $200 in the middle. So going to be hard to have a winning day when that's uh, how few of pots you're winning at the bigger sizes. So if you guys are watching the blog on YouTube today, enjoyed the video. Please be sure to like the video as well as comment and subscribe to the channel. I'm currently posting a new poker vlog five days a week, Monday through Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you ever want to my live streaming schedule, I post it every Monday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on my Twitch schedule page.